Val Schmierkowski perfecting Pretty Little Liars partner Janelle Parrish's posture, even during our interview. It's a really, really fun new chat. Yes, I'm pinching my back. I'm Are you working my on back. her posture right now? Always. All the time. Every five seconds. This, this, this. I play a villain on TV. Um, Mona in Pretty Little Liars is not very nice. Um, she would hit her partner with cars, poison his drinks, strangle him in his sleep, anything she needed to do to get to the top. Well, hold on a second. No pressure. You get to the top because of your partner. Right. If you kill your partner, you don't get to the top. Mona would hit other contestants with a car, and poison mind. their drinks, like strangle them in their sleep to get to the top. How do we get Mona channel to Mona? We can discuss later. Okay. There are ways. I need the ideal partner, somebody that, you know, obviously aesthetically looks good next to me, and I look good next to her. Uh, but most importantly, it's it's a mindset, you know, somebody that wants to be there and wants to learn something new and uh, accepts challenges and has a sense of humor. I mean, the list goes on, really. Uh, but she she got a lot of that covered. I'm a huge goofball, and it's I think I found a fellow goofball at times, yeah. yes. Um, no, I like that, you know, we already we had one rehearsal, but he was already making me laugh. And, you know, just little things like in, in giving me dance pointers, he found a way to say it so that it made me laugh. And, it's nice, it breaks the ice, it makes me feel comfortable and safe, and yeah. I'm, I'm just really sarcastic 99% of the time. So it's really hard for me to have a conversation with anybody that doesn't like read that sarcasm initially and just thinks that I'm weird. Uh, so, so it's helpful, it's helpful. Hi, I'm Janelle Parrish. And I'm Val Schmikowski. And we're on Dancing with the Stars, season 19. Team Janelski. So today was our big announcement on Good Morning America. It was super fun. And uh, we've decided that Tommy Chong has some moves. Yeah. Tommy Chong got the illest hip action I've ever seen. Yeah, on the I'm show. a little I'm a little worried. I'm gonna have to step up my game. All the other girls look amazing. I haven't seen them dance, obviously, but you know, we already all love each other. Everyone's so nice. And uh, we feel pretty confident. We're a good team and I got a great coach, so we feel great. I like the way he teaches. Sometimes, sometimes I'll get frustrated when I feel like I'm a little bit overwhelmed, but that's just me wanting to get things right. But I love the way he teaches, and no, no claws yet. I go home and I break down in private. He cries because I'm so hard on him in yeah. the dance room. Yeah, I want to start off strong. I want you know you don't get a second chance to make a first impression, and uh, you know people have really high expectations for Janelle, obviously, and so I want to exceed those expectations. I've had dance experience for my entire life, um, but never anything like what we're doing. So all the partnering stuff and ballroom is very different. I'm super excited about Jive. It's, it's very, very fast, but it's so much fun. The routine is amazing. He choreographed a great one. Um, if I'm nervous about anything, it's going to be more of the ballroom type stuff, just because that's still very foreign to me. I'm a little nervous about Len, just because I know ballroom's not going to be my strongest suit quite yet, until he whips me into shape, which he will. Yeah. So, if I'm nervous about anyone, it's probably, probably Len. <laughs> um, I got a text from Lucy and Brendan and Brant, and I think a bunch of them are gonna come see the show at some point. I cannot stress enough how excited I am about the outfits. I'm the biggest girly girl. I love shiny things. So I'm excited for all the awesome, shiny, fringy things. Thank you so much, guys. We're so excited to be on this season. Make sure to vote for us. Watch us every Monday night. And yeah, Janelle is, is the best, so vote for Janelle. Team Janelski! Tom at his best is at the dress run that nobody sees. Thank God, because it's a completely different show. But it's amazing. But it's a great late night show somewhere on cable.
I swear, when you started the show, I did think you might have been a one-trick pony. You know, like, you give good fish face, honey, and you give good sex. But you give good everything. I don't mean you give good sex. Dancing, sexy dancing. Sexy dancing. I meant you give, no, you know what I mean, like, she gives good sexy dancing. Really The first two perfect scores of the season for Janelle Perrin. We're really hungry dancers right now, so this is awesome. This is so I hope there's no lips next week, me. Open up. The Dancing with the Stars first immunity was granted to Janelle Perrin with the highest score of the night. Slicing something. Full cool body wax. Yes. Yeah, last night. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. I apologize. Pelvic thrust. Hey, hey, shake, 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 Signora, shake your body. What is the move? What is the move? The shimmy. What kind of shimmy? The 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 shimmy, 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 yay, yeah, shimmy, yo, shimmy, the shoulder shimmy. Yes. The first to lose their temper. Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm afraid because you're about to lose your temper. Uh, no, absolutely not. No. Mm -mm. Okay, well, it's definitely, definitely her. Him. Definitely, definitely him. Definitely him. Definitely him. I can't. Next question. <laughs> Who spends more time checking themselves out in the mirror? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Shirt off. Oh man, it's good today. My profession <laughs> is that of oh, somebody that has to be conscious over his body. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to be good at my job. Mm -hmm. Can you rephrase the question to be a little bit more <laughs> to be a little more fair to me? Who spends more time analyzing their physique in the mirror? Honestly, with pride. Look at his neck, his poor neck from doing this trick. What do you think was the hardest thing you had to overcome this season? Me. <laughs> oh, I was like, no, no, I, myself, honestly, just, you know, pushing past limits and, and, and doing things that were out of my comfort zone and just saying, like, I, I, I can do it. And getting over that little voice in the back of my head, you can't do it. You know, just overcoming myself and my fears. What's the first thing you're going to do or eat when it's all done? Oh, lots and lots of pizza and probably sleep past, like, 8 a.m. 8, <laughs> high five. Janelle, first of all, congratulations. What a great honor. Thank you. Thank uh, you. You seemed disappointed. You really seemed like you, you were disappointed the moment that they read the name. I think we're both disappointed. You know, it's something that we poured our hearts and souls into, and, and that's okay, though, because I'm so happy to be here. I know he is, and it was a wonderful season. I, I really couldn't have asked for anything more. We have to ask, where are all his buttons? Did you take them? I did not take them. <laughs> there, they're just, they're this there. shirt is too tight. I mean, you'd rather see me in a tight shirt like this? <laughs> no, you want to let I am breathe. sure there nobody in the world would want to see that. Um, <laughs> we're asking people what they're what they're thankful for because Thanksgiving's coming. Um, family, absolutely. Always. I'm thankful for family just because they make everything okay. What is the weirdest present you've ever gotten for Christmas? Um, <laughs> a bra that was five sizes too big for me. <laughs> From an aunt. Uh, really? not that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, it's a gift. People didn't have to give it to me. So I'm grateful regardless of what it is.